Hi guys and uh, welcome to our weekly review where I'm going to discuss a bit of what happened last week and uh, how did that pan out in relation to the forecast which we had on Monday. So to start with we're going to look at uh, dollar index. If you remember correctly from the weekly forecast I highlighted that 9130 is my ultimate target on dollar index and we reached that target nicely on uh, Thursday right it was reached on Thursday and uh, this was because of the effects or as the result of the FOMC which happened on Wednesday 8 p.m. South African time. So now what actually did we saw right? We saw a strong dollar right? After the Federal Reserve decided to keep the rates uh, between 0 to 0 0.25 percent and they hinted on uh, easing up a bit on their bond buying meaning they are starting they are showing us signs that they might be starting tapering now how do we get to know that they are starting by them pushing back uh, their projection on when they are gonna cut the rates from 2024 to 2023 they expect to have two hikes by end of 2023 thereby meaning tapering would have happened already so they are easing now on their bond buy meaning the dollar is going to become a bit scarcity and when that happens there's always demand for the dollar price is going to push to the upside now if we go on a monthly chart right when we look on the monthly chart for dollar you can see that uh, we have just lifted off from a very strong area of demand now this bullish order block here the bullish order block from March 2018 is the one in play at the current price that's why you saw January we were bullish all the way up until end of March and then price dropped again last month we highlighted that we are going to be looking for long entries on gold from where from the bullish order block on the monthly chart now looking at last week we had a very strong move to the upside that is after almost one two three four five weeks of price playing inside the monthly bullish order block now remember this candle here if you're in the mentorship you know this already this candle I highlighted this candle in one of the weekly focus to say okay that's our reversal pattern when this week closed I highlighted that that is our reversal pattern and now we are targeting 90 91 50 is our target right we traded up close the fair value gaps then eventually this week FOMC provided the fundamental that we needed in terms of pushing price to the upside now this bearish order block here has been violated now to the upside meaning now this level is going to be your new area of focus but now as price is moving to the upside remember it's creating new demand zone so you need to go on lower time frames for you to highlight those new demand areas that are being created now from last week weekly forecast was uploaded on Monday just before New York close and I highlighted this fair value gap and I mentioned that any price point below the fair value gaps resistant line any price point below that 
is your optimum entry to go long with your stop below this daily bullish order block. Now we see that happening on Tuesday. That's when price traded lower and created our weekly low. Now remember, in a bullish market, you expect the low of the week to come in on Tuesday or Wednesday London session. Now I'm going to go on to an hourly chart. Right now on this hourly chart, I want you to take note of Tuesday. Right, so this is Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Look at Tuesday's low. This is Tuesday's low, right? What time was that created? This was 10 a.m. Just an hour into the London session. We had a low that was created after price took out the sell stops below. The rest is history, right? So on dollar index, the forecast panned out perfectly what we anticipated price to do is exactly what the market did right we were long on dollar index meaning coming to euro usd we were short and that's exactly what happened you see i highlighted 1.21443 that's your entry to the downside on euro usd that was your entry time frame your entry time price to the downside 1.243 with 1.21671 is also your target but price did not actually reach there we closed the fair value gap this happened the same time when dollar was creating the low of the week euro created the high of the week and then price never looked back so we can see if you haven't watched my last week's uh, weekly focus video, I would suggest you do that before you watch this video because this is just a review. We are reviewing the analysis that we did from last week and seeing how the price action panned out. So with Euro moving to the downside, it's creating new levels of supply. You see? And old demand zones are being taken out. Old demand zones are being taken out you see old demand zones are being taken out where did price find support right in this demand range now you can see we've got a fair value gap there but now this is part of the weekly video for the mentorship and uh, you see how price reacts when it reaches that level you can already see that's where price found support in that fair value gap so the analysis on euro usd penned out also 100 percent now coming to pound usd pound usd this was the trigger for our shorts on euro usd for our longs on euro usd why did i why do i say it was the trigger now if you look at wednesday wednesday traded higher than tuesday we had a high formed on tuesday on uh, on pound right we had a high that was formed let me grab my two see this high this is tuesday then wednesday the buy stops were taken out as price was trading into the fair value gap so once you see this price action this high being created on tuesday let me see what time was this so this was tuesday 9 a.m exactly london open we have a high of the week formed and then price dropped how many pips 88 pips 88 pips in five hours guys you see now when you see that type of price action right when you see that happening then you should know that this high is going to be in play for the rest of the week you see and when when i say in play what do i mean now we are in a bearish weekly order flow on pound since we are bullish on dollar pound usd will be on a bearish weekly order flow now in a bearish weekly order flow expect the high of the week to be formed either tuesday or wednesday during london 
open. Now we had Wednesday's high coming in at 3 p.m. That's New York open also, which is valid. Now New York open takes out yesterday's London high. When that happens, buy stops have been cleared. Once that happens, the rest is history. You'd have already been in the market. Now remember, our optimum entry was inside this fair value gap here. This fair value gap. If I go to daily, you see the range nice clear. This is the fair value gap. That was your optimum entry to the downside. So if you go on your entry time frame, which is H4, you wait for the high to be taken out and this candle closing. When this candle close, you are opening your short trade for a reward of more than 300 pips. So yeah, this is the review of our last week trades in the mentorship. And you can see uh, we got out with almost close to, so we got 300 pips on uh, Euro uh, GBP USD. If I come to my entry time frame, Tuesday's high price come close Wednesday London open where's London open right here you are shorting for a potential of 266 pips plus 300 that's close to 500 pips then on dollar index Tuesday slow let me go to my entry time frame Tuesday slow we retrace our team optimum trade entry and price rallied close to 200 pips that's already 700 pips on three assets only guys 700 pips not even to mention new zealand dollar this one i gave it live in the group price was up here i highlighted this level is going to provide resistance when price came back and then market tumbled for another 200 pips so yeah for more of this uh if you're not in the mentorship, I urge you to join the mentorship program because this is that's where I explain in detail. And if you have noticed the weekly mentorship video, I only make it public on uh, Wednesday before New York close or Thursday, just after London open. But prior to that, the mentorship group will have access would have had access to the video Monday just before New York close so that they make a decision they don't miss the trades so yeah that's our short and precise weekly review of what happened in the mentorship last week you can clearly see we were spot on on our projection for dollar we were spot on on our projection for euro USD same applies with pound usd so yeah i urge you guys to subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure you've got the notification icon selected so that you don't miss any uploads uh, that i send on the channel so yeah i wish you guys good luck and happy trading in the coming week